Hello everyone, my name is LazyJet. Welcome back to another Train Simulator race video. Now in today's video is quite interesting because this video was actually requested by another fan who said, Oliver, could you race Cheltenham versus the Flying Scotsman? That's a great idea, let's do that. <laughs> So here we have Flying Scotsman and Cheltenham in the BR Green livery, which I think actually looks quite nice. But most of you are familiar with Cheltenham being in the Southern Green livery, which in my opinion, the Southern Green livery does actually look a bit nicer. But the BR Green livery does look much smarter. It just, it's just my opinion. My, my opinion means nothing. But today I'm really excited because I don't actually know which one's going to be faster out of Flying Scotsman or Cheltenham. Because if you think about it, they like I know like they're totally different classes, but they do look very similar. Just like me and my twin brother. We look similar. So anyway, what we're going to do is, you know, same old race, program these engines, see which one is the fastest, and I'm going to be following them in the Superclass 47. What's he doing all the way over there? Let's, let's bring you back a little bit, Superclass 47. Let's bring you all the way down there. I think that'll do nicely, won't it? So as always, we've got to get into the programming, Oliver. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the World Editor, and then click the Train button, and get to editing. Oh, wow, that loaded up quickly. Right, and do you know what? Should we, should we change the time? Should we have the time at... Uh, should we have it? What time should we have it? Should we have it at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon? That's a good idea. So, let's program Flying Scotsman first. So, Flying Scotsman is, in, is engine number one and it's on platform three. So, let's program Scotsman go platform three. Will it pick it up? Yes, it does. And we'll have Scotsman at 100% power. And then we'll have Cheltenham, which is engine number two, and that's on platform four. Will that pick it up? Bing! Yes, it picks it up! Excellent! And we'll program Cheltenham to do 100% power as well. And that's it! Programming is done! It's actually very simple, actually, when I'm programming trains. Like, it has gone a lot easier. I mean, in fairness, I should be programming a lot more engines. Maybe soon we'll do, like, a nice big race like what we used to do. Because I remember doing those, like, amazing big races. I do miss the big races. The Flying Scotsman is programmed, and so is Cheltenham. Which one's going to be faster? I don't know! How did the Superclass 47 move? Oh yeah, because I went to the World Editor. Let's bring Superclass 47 down here. I think we are ready to race. So, boys and girls, I am ready to click the play button, and let's see which one is going to win. Oh, they haven't moved. Let's go back to the World Editor, because I think I might have made a mistake. Let me have a look at the programming. Yep, I have made a mistake, so let's delete that, and let's delete that. I have made a mistake. Because I programmed them and changed the time, it's kind of bugged the system. We're going to have to change the time and put it back to 12, which will be a bit more boring, but, you know, never mind. But now, if we go to the programming, it should work. So, find Scotsburn, program on platform 3. And have you at 100% power. Then Cheltenham on platform 4 with 100% power as well. Fantastic. That should work now. Right, boys and girls, take two. Now, before I get started, put your answer in the comment section below of who do you think is going to win. Is it going to be Flying Scotsman or is it going to be Cheltenham? Which one's going to win, my friends? Leave your answer in the comment section below and I'll be sure to read it. And also, make sure you click that subscribe button because we are so close to 70 thousand subscribers guys click that subscribe button let's see if we can get to 70,000 subscribers and click that like button i'm thinking shall we see if we can get this video up to 2,000 likes click that like button my friends click that subscribe button and leave your answer in the comments just below of who do you think is going to win out of these two magnificent steam engines right bosh let's get racing click the play button boom who should put take off first oh they're both leaving at exactly the same time look at that but I think Flying Scotsman... Oh, no, Cheltenham! Cheltenham's pulling away. She's got the lead first. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Let's um apply the Superclass 47. There we go. 
Let's apply the brakes just a little bit, just a little bit. And Cheltenham, weirdly, is going faster than Flying Scotsman. I need to adjust my microphone. Look at Cheltenham, she's pulling away faster than Flying Scotsman. How is that even possible? I think it's because Cheltenham is smaller and lighter than Flying Scotsman. I don't know. Maybe it's like, like weight distribution or something. I don't know. But Cheltenham is pulling away faster than the Flying Scotsman. What is this? So Flying Scotsman's speeding up at a lovely 60 miles per hour. But Cheltenham's pulling away probably doing like nearly 70 miles per hour. These racings do not make any sense. But Flying Scotsman's falling behind and Cheltenham is in the lead. Wait, I thought, I thought Flying Scotsman would be faster. I thought wrong. Although I have been wrong many times, but there's Flying Scotsman in the distance. It does look good when she's at speed, I'm not going to lie. But look at Cheltenham. Cheltenham's pulling away, and I think she stopped accelerating. How fast does Cheltenham go? She's doing like nearly 100. She's like in the 90 zone. She is. But let's have a quick look at Flying Scotsman. How you doing, Scotty? Oh, dear. You're not doing that well at all, unfortunately. Oh, dear. That's, um, that's not good. But there's goes Cheltenham. God, look at the speed of Cheltenham. That's unbelievable. Let me see if we can try and speed up again. How fast is Cheltenham actually doing? She's doing like 90 miles per hour. While Flying Scotsman, I think she's doing around about mm, like 75, perhaps. There we go. Let's have a look at you, Cheltenham. Let's apply the brakes. Cheltenham's actually doing really well. I guess that's how physics work. Actually, it's not. It's just how this game works. It's so, it's so weird. So where is Flying Scotsman? She's all the way back there. Oh my god, look at that. She's all the way back. She's back there. She's way back there. So Cheltenham's got a smashing lead. Look, look at this thing. Who knew that a school's class would be faster? Let's go all the way back and see how Flying Scotsman's doing. Oh dear. I think she's losing a lot of steam. I did program Flying Scotsman to do 100% power, didn't I? Because this doesn't look 100% power-ish. I don't, I don't know. Oh, look at this. We are perfectly in sync with Cheltenham at the moment. See, we're trying to like, speed up just a little bit. And the thing is that even though Cheltenham's going quite fast, it's barely making a noise. You can't really hear its chuffing sound. Or maybe you can. It's just like it's a very weird chuffing sound. Ooh. These brakes work extremely well with the Superclass 47. I'm not going to lie. Because the thing is you've got to know about the schools class. They don't really make a, a chuffing sound. They, more, they make more like a breathing sound. Like a... <gasps> I'm not sure if that's a good impression of a school's class puffing, chuffing sound. I'd... It's best I can do. So Cheltenham has entered the curve. Let's see where Flying Scotsman is. Oh my god, you can't even see Flying Scotsman. She's all the way back. Oh my god, she's all the way back here. What's wrong, Scotsman? How come you're not running your full speed? Maybe the... is there something wrong with the programming? The, the... I'm pretty sure I might have done something wrong here. But Cheltenham is doing amazing. I mean, look at the speed of that thing. Chuff, 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 chuff. It looks absolutely amazing. It looks quite weird when it's like like a, doing like 90 miles per hour because it's it's like impossible. Where's my Superclass 47? There you are. Let's see if we can try and speed up. Oh, I'm doing this without my headlights on. I always do races without my headlights on. And I can see Fly Scott's just like a tiny little dot in the distance. Oh, and we're just overtaken Cheltenham. Oh, we're undertaken. I don't know. Are we overtaken or undertaken? No, we're overtaken because we're on the outer lane. I think Cheltenham is actually starting to slow down. She is. She's applied her brakes a little bit. And she's not pulling any speed on. Putting any speed on. Speed on. But she slowed down from 90 miles per hour and now doing just under 70 miles per hour. How interesting. We can't be at the end of the line already. There's no way. Oh, no, we are. We are coming up to the end of the line. Huh. How strange. Cheltenham slowing down. We're almost at the end of the line, my friends. I can actually, I can see the buffers. I can see the end of the line. And amazingly, by surprise, Cheltenham is faster than Flying Scotsman. Who knew? Get a good shot of her stopping, shall we? Where's Flying Scotsman? There she is, all the way in the distance. But here comes Cheltenham, my friends. The very first engine to arrive. The engine that's in first place. God, who knew that Cheltenham would win this? And stop, Cheltenham. Just Cheltenham wants to stop. There we go. Beautiful. That's actually a nice stop. Well done, Cheltenham. And now, we have to wait for the flying... Oh, there she is. There's Flying Scotsman just all the way in the distance. It's quite unbelievable where Flying Scotsman is. And Cheltenham is, like, already at the finish line. And Flying Scotsman hasn't even, like, finished yet. It's... It wasn't really a close race. It was more like a... A humiliation, really. Hum hum humiliation. 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 
Come on, Scotsman, everyone's waiting for you. What happened, old girl? We thought you'd had this in the bag, since you're a big mainline steam locomotive. We thought you'd, you'd had this. Oh, well, come on, Scotsman, pull it in next to Cheltenham. You'll be fine. You've, like, no one's going to hate you because you came last. And stop. There we go. Perfect. That's actually a nice stop. Look at these two engines. God, they look so nice next to each other, don't they? They look, they look so cool. They look so amazing. But I'm convinced that something might have gone wrong in the programming. Let me just quickly, like, check. I'm going to go back to the world editor and see if I might have made a mistake. Look, so let's have a look at Flying Scotsman. Yeah, she's on 100% power. And Cheltenham is on 100% power as well. Wow! So... I didn't actually make a mistake. The race was actually very fair. And there was no mistake. That's, that's so weird. I, th I honestly thought I made a mistake. I guess Cheltenham was just really fast. Well, boys and girls, uh, I didn't make a mistake. Uh, it's just that Cheltenham is more fast than Flying Scotsman. I'm sorry. No, I won't have that. These races are actually quite unfair because, flying, in reality, Flying Scotsman would have won this easily. But anyway, my friends, I'm going to end this video for you guys for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button again. We are so close to 70,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can do it, guys. 70,000 subscribers. We're so close. But follow me on Twitter and my Instagram and my Twitch. All the links to them are in the description below. And if you want to make a little donation to my PayPal, link to that is in the description below as well. So you click on that link, make a little donation to my PayPal. Help support the channel and help support me. But thank you so much for watching, my friends. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh my god. Beautiful. for an experience. I might be an expert at these things. Sort of.